the Muppets with another great moment in American history! Come closer, all ye people, gather round and listen well. My friends and I have some of history's greatest tales to tell. Your hair will stand on end with all the history and such. Unless, of course, you're bald like me, in which case, not so much. Oh, hi there, Sam. It's Sam Eagle, everybody. Hey, tell us, Sam, what great American story are we sharing today? Today we shall salute the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Ah, a great story indeed. The ride of Paul Revere, a fateful night that saved the day. He warned the founding fathers, but the British ruled their way. In their red coats, with their muskets, they were mean and scary too. But we won't speak about all that. This is wholesome, through and through. Right, let's bring out some friends to help us. Hey guys, that's your cue. Oh, Great moments in history. Ra -la -la -la. Great moments in history. And this one features more. And here's what you will take away in all your minds and hearts. Great moments in history, but only the American. Great moments in history, but just the American hearts. Greetings, my fellow Americans. And others? Hello. <laughs> As official historian of Liberty Square, I am honored to present to you a dramatic recitation of The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, with additional dialogue by Sam Eagle. Cue the patriotic music! <clears throat> Let us begin. Listen, my children, to what is going on here? You said chicken! I said children, not chickens! Oh! I bet. Shoo, shoo! We're going! Come on, girls! <clears throat> Let us begin again. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Hi, all Paul Revere here! It is not Paul Revere! What? Oh, good heavens. Peggy, it's Paul Revere, not Paula. But it's a story no, so surely it must be meant for moi. Paul Revere was a man. Correction, he was not just a man. He was a son of liberty, along with John Adams, hey. Sam Adams, and John Hancock. Well, then what part is written for moi? I'm sorry, Peggy, but there's no part for you. Oh, we'll see about that. Uh, sorry about that, Sam. Uh, please continue. Uh, right, um, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. He said to his friend, if the British march... Hang a lantern in the North Church arch, with a watchful eye, look out for them. To which his friend replied, no problem. I'll hang one at my land, and two at my sea. Great. And three at my monorail, Fuzzy. and four at my pogo stick, no, no, no. five at my unicycle, Fuzzy. six at my registered mail. Fuzzy! Fozzy, are you okay? Uh, yeah, the lanterns lightened my fall. Get it? Lanterns? Lightened? Ah! Just hang the lanterns from the church. <sighs> One if by land, and two if by sea. That's good, because we only have two left. Ah, two lanterns. They're coming by sea. Ah, yes. Now, Paul Revere upon his horse did ride. Oh, where is the horse? Ah, ah, here you go, Kermit. Ah. Donzo, you were supposed to get a real horse, <laughs> not a stick horse. The real horse got sick. Oh, is he a little horse? <laughs> Does he need some cough stirrup? <laughs> Do I know funny? Nah. Oh. <laughs> I have had enough of this kind of nonsense. What kind of nonsense would you prefer? Would you get out of here? Ah. Oh, now where were we? Oh, I, I am on a, uh, a horse. Ah, yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> Paul Revere, upon his stick horse, did ride, and by the light of the silvery moon he cried, Oh, what is the music? <laughs> by the light. No, the dark, but not the light. Oh, the silver moon. Not the sun, but Stop. the moon. I want. Not the fork, but the tongue. What are you doing? I made 
made some changes in the play. Now I have a musical number. Well, you can't just write yourself into the play. That's not how it works. Oh, okay. Then let's see how this works. What? Well, I'd say that song was a hit. Good thing the lanterns lightened his fall. Ah, good one. Get out of here. I'm going, I'm going. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Sam, what's next? Uh, um, right, um, by the light of the silvery moon, he cried. The, the red coats are coming. The red coats are coming. Where are the red coats? They're coming. The red coats are here. <laughs> Gonzo, I said no chickens! Aww. But I promised they could be in the show! Maggie, you are ruining this play! I am making it better! Get them out of here, Gonzo! Now, ah. Piggy, enough already! You can't be a red coat! Fine! Then I'm the woman in the moon! Don't you dare say no! Oh, come on, would you help me? Gonzo! I can't help you, Gonzo! I'm trying to freeze your life with Piggy! You're supposed to have feathers! Why is everyone? How do you like that? And here's what you will take away in all your minds and hearts. Great moments in history. Great moments in history. Great moments in history. But only the American Great moments in history. But just the American parts. to see you again soon. Oh, and to England, no hard feelings. You're still one of our best friends. So long, everybody. Bye.